We talking about fashion and music and uh, Drake Scorpion. Yes. That's what Drake. we're really going to deep dive into today. But before we do that, we've got some housekeeping notes. Uh, we want to make sure and remind everybody of, if you're not on the social medias, make sure you get on the social media, CTM Podcast, Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube, all the full versions of the video episodes are available. We're also breaking up the, on Facebook, we're breaking up the the, the video into segments so mm. we will put out you know the 15 minutes of the lesson of the week and the 10 minutes of the weekly updates and dividing it so that you know we did the one minute like silly promos we did like some one minute like straight through conversations and now yeah. we're trying to mix up content so that people can consume it in a different way and maybe see if some longer form video content is going to bring people in they get a little deep dive into the show so Facebook um, YouTube make sure you're there um what else? Juice World? Juice World. Yeah, this is this is Pete's Pete's housekeeping. Yeah, I need to story. I need to get Talk this out to Juice, the people. Juice World. Juice World did a one hour freestyle. Juice World, he's a he's a nineteen year old rapper from Chicago. Okay. And he was on Tim Westwood TV. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Mm-hmm. The guy mm-hmm. from the UK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Legend. It's just why you're wearing the socks hat today. It is not, but he, he could Pete be. stays with the socks hat. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my look. I like yeah. it. Okay. That's Peter. It's good. Um but yeah, nineteen-year-old Chicago rapper, and he was on Tim Westwood TV, and he freestyled for an hour over like, I don't know how it had to have been fifteen or more beats, which was crazy. And it's just like, to me, it was an amazing thing to see from a younger person, where everyone's saying like that type of rapping or artistry is dead. Yeah, it's a cool <clears throat> thing to have it still there. It ain't dead, baby. No. I'll fire with the bars. I think it was good. Like, it was real freestyle, too. It wasn't just him who had a uh, spare 16, yeah. and he just did something. It was, like, freestyle, and you could Off tell. Off the brain. Yeah. It was for an hour? For an hour. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Because I used to watch, like, I don't know if you guys know, like, Grind Time or URL. Yeah. King of the Dot, like, Battle yeah. Rap. Yeah. And back in the day, oh, when it yeah. was Grind Time. Yeah, it's different. And even the Elements League in Dirt or in mm-hmm. Halifax. Mm-hmm. It was freestyle, a lot of it. Yeah. And that was like, when someone really freestyled, that was like bonus points right. to me. Yeah. So it's still in my brain, like, that's an amazing thing. So yeah, if you bring, haven't seen it. Bring back the freestyle. Check out Juice yeah. World. Well, so that, that's got to be on YouTube, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Cool. Ed Sheeran's getting sued by Marvin Gaye. Is that what you also said? I guess so. I think I saw that this week. I don't know for how much, but it was a number that, like, I was shocked at. It was a lot of money. Yeah. But he, he, I think he used, he sampled Let's Get It On in... One of his like bigger hits, but Uh-oh. rewinding here, okay. Dipset sampled "Let's Get It On" too, but maybe uh, have diplomatic immunity mm. back in the day. So are we saying that Ed Sheeran did not clear it with them? Maybe. What was that thing with uh, what was it, Robin Thicke? And yeah. And what, uh, fuck, I can't remember who, who that, that was. Blurred lines. Blurred lines. Was was, yeah. But what was the song that he that he sampled it from? Do we remember? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Fact check it. Hmm. Go ahead, keep going. I'll figure it out. Keep telling your story. I'm going to fact check while you t- keep telling what? the story. What am I talking about? Oh, Diplomatic Community, the greatest double album ever put out by Ooh. a rap group of all time. Ooh. It's a Marvin Gaye song. Blurred Lines. Sample from Marvin Gaye. It is. Okay, so everyone's... But the thing is, is like... Uh, give it up. Interesting. Give it up. Got it up. Hold on. But that was one where they just like... Gotta they, give it up. They altered it a certain amount and thought they would get away with it from yeah. what I understand. Yeah. But yeah, no. It sure might be you a gotta pay the man. You gotta pay the man who made it. The man's a state. Let's get it on. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't paying that man. They need to bet. Well, yeah. Pay the state. <laughs> <laughs> pay the state. Um, Jesse, you have a word that you use that it's it technically is kind of outdated, but it's cool. Oh, swag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we think that what's the one you said earlier, Peter? I said um, mint. 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 Are these are these words gonna? Because, like, we're kind of the older guys now. Yes. Which, it's just sad because we're not. Yeah. It's all but, relative. Right. And so, I think swag is, like, a not. I think it's a great word to use. I agree. But I don't feel <laughs> like it's the N-word to use amongst the, the youths. Mm-hmm. Youths. Yeah. Plural. Yeah. Many youths. <laughs> <laughs> so, are there any other words that we think are cool that we we probably think are cooler than some people? There's some some words though that have like like longevity, like gnarly. Oh yeah, like that's you say classic. gnarly. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. cause there was probably a time when it was like the word. Yeah. And then it kind of died. Gnarly. But then it like stayed at like a level of relevance. Yeah. 
Yes. And then like Jay Z ironically says like gnarly radical on the track on something something. Yeah. And it's just like okay, that's an effective word to kind of make you feel like you're from that time, right. kind of like surfer culture or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe swag just needs a little bit more time and then it will move on to like the level of a gnarly or will it not like lit? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, lit lit I don't, gonna, I don't think it's going to last. Yeah. It's like, I'm when just you, now starting to say lit and mm. I feel like <laughs> it's been around for so long. I didn't feel fine. cool saying it. I felt like I was one of the extra youths. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to have like some, some dad status. Mm. So I use older cool guy words. Like, that, like swag. <laughs> it's like somebody in a I conversation, like an uh, 18 year old in my family said, oh, that's Gucci. Like in a yeah. conversation, uh -huh. just regularly. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. my jaw dropped. Yeah. Mm. It's like I would that, never think to say that. It's Gucci. But yeah, it's Gucci, and it's just regular. It sounds good. But that's one of the youth good. words. I can't say it's that. One though. of the kids' words. But yeah, I, mean. I think that swag has a, a different, like, it is on a different level than those ones. I think they're come and go. You know what I mean? Like, I think that swag is like the Drake of the genre, oh. whereas like lit is more like. Mm. Trying to think of a yeah, a like lesser, a little, less relevant. A, yes, that but, doesn't have longevity in the game. You okay. know what I mean? Comes in hot. Maybe a Bryson Tiller. Lit is a Bryson Tiller. Ooh, wow. Love Bryson Tiller though. Yeah, love but Bryson Bryson yeah, but do you love his second album? I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> man has one project, two. and Fantastic. then a second project that wants to sound like the first project. I don't know if I I, I don't ever say swag. Ever. It doesn't sound... See, you heard it. It doesn't sound right. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm more of like a Benoodles guy. A Benoodles? Benoodles. <laughs> yeah. I, when I, you break that out... It, break it out. I just did. But You started the reaction. Benoodles. Yeah, but what does it yeah, mean? Yeah, like, it That's yeah. crazy. You're like, that's Benoodles. <laughs> wow, okay. Beyond Benoodles. Mm -hmm. but that's noodles. like that used to That's be, like underground rap. Like, that's like... That's, no one knows about it. It's like a dude named Locksmith who's like a rapper. And you're like, who I is do know it? who Locksmith that, is. Just because he's an actual guy. But like, you have to know. You know what right. I mean? I think I think there was actually a guy in URL Benoodles. who said Benoodles. I think it was Hollow. Hollow the Don. Mm. Benoodles. Said Benoodles. And I was like, that's great. I like the word Benoodles. <laughs> Peter, I got to see some of the 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 the, the up and coming <laughs> treats for Atlantic Fashion Week yes. 2018. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling y'all nothing because Peter would be very disappointed in me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the shit looks I would see I was gonna say I wanted to say lit. I wanted to say this shit looks flames. Flames is always flames. acceptable. Flames is good. Yeah. Um, it was dope. It's fire. Fi yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Do you want to do... give like a baby? Like I can give kind of like the my overall thought process of what I'm trying to do. Go. Because it's like with every collection, I'm just trying to get a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, but sounds banoodles. Does sound banoodles. <laughs> 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 love it love it but yeah just trying to get a little bit better and then with this one it's my main focus is making this a cohesive thing from the very bottom to the very top conceptually okay so like even from the photography we were talking about this like I have a base concept that I want to bring through everything and I think you know from someone who's experienced obviously knows that's the the right way to go but in this project this is like it really hit home for me that in order to make something that's going to be able to be communicated properly to the, an audience or multiple audiences right. through Diverse social media. Audiences like yeah, that too. Exactly. It has to be like very cohesive and very well thought out from the ground up. So that's what I've been working on kind of since I stopped doing the show, to be honest with you. I started then and then just kind of up and going at it since. Nice. Yeah, it's coming on. You're going to be part of it, yes. I'm sure. So. I'm, you're sure. Yeah. You better be sure because oh, it's I'm happening. Sure. I'm excited. I just messaged Jody Uloth yesterday to find out some more details on one uh, Fashion Week 2018 is coming around. I think Dwayne might be involved. I don't want to say that and be false, but I hope Dwayne's involved. I, I, hope, hope, so. the whole, I hope the whole crew's involved. So mm -hmm. AFW 2018 is on the way, so make sure you check out P and uh, P Nabeasley. Uh, what else happened? The Social Shift premiere, the Twins. Can you enlighten Mirror, me on this? Mirror Image Media put together and also of the Comic Good Solutions team <clears throat> created a documentary called The Social Shift. They traveled across Canada interviewing social entrepreneurs from all aspects of life. They did like 70 interviews and put together a 75-minute documentary that we debuted to Halifax. Um, 
in the middle of the street, actually on Kennard Street, right out in front of CGS. It was beautiful. Um, Lindell Smith was there. Some other VIP people were there. The film was really dope. Um, it, it was inspiring to see creative people from this region tell stories about how business can be done in a in a way that's more beneficial to the people in the community instead of just the pockets of the people who are invested in it yeah. financially. So, um, and it's good as the person who's kind of replacing the twins at CGS as the videographer, um, seeing kind of what was done in this this first try at it. And then being inspired by that, and then knowing that we've got to we've got to try to top that. We can't we can't come in under par. Mm-hmm. So now I'm I'm excited to see what we're able to do with that. So much love to uh, Megan and Maria of Image Media and uh, CGS. It was a beautiful day. Thank you to everybody who came out. It was much love. Um, Peter, we shot some we shot some photos. Yeah, we shot some photos. Finally, I never been shot by Peter before. Yeah, thank and you. I mean, I'm still very new to the whole photography thing, but. That's another thing, like, even with the, the camera I bought, like, it was a $50 camera off Kijiji, and yeah. then I try to just learn myself, but yeah. a lot of people think that when you're doing things like that, you need all this special stuff and yeah. all, all this stuff, but I mean, <clears throat> what did we shoot with, like, a, I went to Desairs, which is the art store, got a backdrop that I thought would look like I could kind of work through in Photoshop, and, yeah. that, and then I used, like, a little, uh, a gel thing, like a see-through thing to make mm-hmm. the photo look a little different and then the $50 camera and you well, know that's, that's all it took. but I appreciate the help for <clears throat> sure I appreciate the ask it was good I love being involved we had some good them. conversation too yeah it's only we just getting back to it and happy Canada Day to everybody obviously uh, this is Sunday we're recording on Sunday you guys are here it's on Tuesday so so much love to all the Canadians and anybody who's out and around the world out <laughs> getting lit Oh, lit. yeah. I like the words that have multi-use and multi-dimensions and definitions. It's great. Yeah, multifunctional. It's like, Which, a, it's like a Swiss Army knife. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> lit is the Swiss Army knife of slang it's like a terms. Corkscrew. We also whittle a thing so you can make a s'more stick. You know, <laughs> <A> s'more stick. <laughs> How Atlantic Canadian is that? It's beautiful s'more sticks.